You're listening to the Inbound Logistics Podcast with today's guests, Juan Carlos Rodriguez and Enrique Portillo of Cushman in Wakefield, Mexico. About how um, you help clients who are looking to nearshore kind of navigate through all of this. Obviously, there's uncertainty and volatility, some of the uh, you know, country-specific things and some of the global macro forces we talked about. So somebody comes to, uh, you know, to look and, and get into nearshoring. What, uh, what is your advice? How do you work with them? How do you steer them? And, and what do they need to know? You know, if the new client does not know where to go, because sometimes they, they, they already have the, I need to be in Tijuana or Monterey. I need to also supply my client or my, or my supplier is right there. So as long as they don't, they don't have a, definitive location, uh, I think the, the recommendation is to do like a city selection report to include the labor costs, logistics, real estate, utilities, all these costs obviously change depending on where you're receiving raw materials or components and where you're going to send final products. But it's not just transportation, you also need to take a look at the stability of labor because some, some cities they have a uh, I don't know, they have strikes or they have uh, higher turnovers, you know, that cause crime rates, quality of life, natural risk, you know, it's all, all that taken in consideration. You need to do a more specific analysis for, for the specific positions that you want. Obviously, check on power availability in the top two or three markets just to avoid surprises. You know, even if uh, even if, it, if the first analysis says that the best location for you is this city, once you do the more specific, we say confirmation, then you will find out that there's not sufficient people with the, with the background that you need, or the power is, is more expensive or they don't have sufficient. So then, then after all that, once you decide on the, on the city or cities, then secure the best real estate for your operation. I mean, there's a way of investment. There's a lot of companies and pension funds and just like institutional capital that is looking at coming into Mexico to take advantage of the of, of the nearshore wave. And and we're we're right at the epicenter of, of a lot of these discussions. I mean, they, they, these guys find us. It's just a very, it's a complex market with a lot of barriers to entry. And um, and it, it it is difficult to understand because the topography here is definitely not conducive to building industrial. So so there's there's different complexities that we help these guys understand. We help them understand what they're looking at when they're looking at something to 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 I mean so they can properly underwrite whatever investment they're trying to make because we're sort of a jack of all trades here because we're because we're not only working with tenants and helping guide them through the through understanding. The power issues, the logistics issues, the regulatory issues, we connect them with the right people if there's a very specific thing that is a major component of the operation, if there's tax issues that they have to be aware of. But in, in terms of the companies that are coming in and building the parts where these guys are gonna be leasing a building, we're, we're right in the middle of a lot of these major investments. So we're, we're, we're fortunate to be in this market when when the demand for space here and uh, and the interest by institutional investors has never been higher. So that's 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 sort of how we how we fit into the equation.